At least I can kind of guarantee this thing is not going to come apart. I did find all the switch positions, all the wiring going up to that, that the yellow strands on the switch positions were all tied together. And what happened is the individual position on the chip reads that particular position, whether the positive or negative going through that particular side is then going to be read as either a positive or negative condition which determines which position the switch is in. So actually it kind of made it a little bit simpler when I was doing the trims. I could use essentially the, the four lead shielded line and then use the shield for the center taps for both the uh, throttle and rudder trims and then use the uh, positive and negative side for the individual wires so this way I could just utilize the individual uh, cable essentially for five lines and it worked out beautifully so this way I've got it all hooked up the same way on the uh, bus bars and I should be able to get everything all set up and before I get done with this, I'm probably going to tie all these shieldings together. Except for this one right here. <laughs> but tying all these shieldings together in some ways kind of eliminates a lot of interference going through here because I'm going to have a lot of lines going through. And, alright. Just hit it with a little bit of heat on here. This type of heat shrink and just uh, just enough to kind of get the stuff to stick in place, and then I uh, don't have to worry about it too much. Yep, there you go. Three individual lines. As soon as I tuck it, NATO clamps. It should be able to secure these wires right here a little better. And I've got two complete harness. Uh, two plugs already hooked up. And I just have these other two here. And then on top of that I've already identified the other plug coming off the other backboard. Where I'm going to have one switch there on the throttle quadrant going up or down. And then the other one is the gear switch for up and down for both those. And then the two slider switches. Uh, both of them are going to go into the uh, collective and cyclic just like I stated before. So, yeah, those, those are pretty much already identified. You got the wires already laid out. This thing's flying right along. Yeah, it's all part of it, so. All right. Uh, kind of getting back to it. All right. All right. Kind of got to the next step. Finally, after about uh, three or four days, I finally uh, got done hooking up all the rest of the wiring and the ribbon cables. There's the speaker, LED light again. But yeah, all the, the 12 different functions along here, along with the ones that go on the instrument panel, are all hooked up. So again, I shouldn't have even clipped those. Those will go just above the board. Other than that, it's all ready to go in. So let's see where I can take it now. There's four other functions I need to take and wire in from the backboard. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get all the functions cooked up and uh, get this thing powered up so all right <laughs> all right so as you can tell I've already taken and uh, put the board back in the cockpit and it up on the instrument panel so now all the wiring is already shoved in through the two slots up here and I've already decided on which ones need to go in either direction and Oh, nice is actually I get all these edel clamps up here uh, the proper size is put up and I've already started drilling out one here for the dual rate switch wiring these are going to end up getting rounded over here I've got a few other slots and, and holes I just need to drill up properly route those here's the cables for the computer what it is I took and I measured each one 
so that they will take and go straight up to here and I'll have another strap up here over here and drop them straight down so all this space in here is going to be completely wide open now yeah, other than that this one right here will go up over and straight down where we'll join another two edel clamps going here and here and feed it all the way to the back side and that's where I'm going to go ahead and start securing it down through these individual ones here. So far everything's going uh, according to plan. I've got to make another plate right here so I can go ahead and mount the on off switch. Where I'm going to go ahead and put the speaker and the indicator light saying that this thing's on. Hopefully it'll work that way. Uh, as there is right now, three of the switches that were on the other side, C, D, and G, I decided to go ahead and just keep them here on the panel. It'd be really easy to just take and just flip them. So now I've got three individual three position switches. All I have to do now is just take and rename all these right here so that it'll make it a little bit easier. So their panel right here, this is basically the backboard, back panel. So the PPM plug in here, I've actually already attached a connector. It's going off to the side over here, which I can go ahead and take and redo uh, to whatever connector I need. There's the RF plug right there. I can probably go ahead and just mount this up to the side. And there's my cross, or the, uh, the FR Sky system. So, yep. Yeah. So other than that, it's not too bad. And then, I want to show this in another video, but this is basically the beginning of the faceplate right here. So as soon as this is tacked on, I'm also going to have some aluminum strips that I can get over at Home Depot. That uh, essentially they'll come up here and they'll tack on and meet right up to the edge of this right here and complete the entire square uh, panel sides. So yeah, other than that, moving right along. All right, all right. Let's see how far I can get on the next one. Hey. I uh, finally got up to the point now where everything is getting really exciting here. Uh, I would go plug in the battery and just kind of go through and just make sure that basically all the functions kind of hooked up that I have connected now. But uh, best thing I can say is this ribbon cable that I constructed back here. Uh, yeah, it's it's a bit long. I've got everything extended up. I've got a few extra pictures of that but I'm sure I showed a little bit during the soldering yeah it's all routed up through there edel clamps I got everything pretty much all tied in through here yeah it's a, it's a lot more cleaner a lot a lot more wrapped up under here I've got everything spot tied yeah it's uh coming together nicely I've already got most of the bus bars uh, connected up here I've still got two more switches and I'm going to probably connect up these dual rate switches to this side of the bus bar over here so I can go ahead and uh, connect these other wires over here. I was just thinking that would probably make it a lot easier to just take and switch everything around when the time comes. But the important thing is, I don't have a panel for this just yet, but boom. Yeah. <laughs> what do you know? battery warning hey look at that everything comes up so far and you hit the page and of course right now I don't exactly have anything set on it so as you can see the other ones and they're kind of working all right but elevator and everything else is not exactly there yet um, there's for the throttle yeah it needs to be recalibrated on a major scale <laughs> So as of right now, um, yeah, the rudder at least has a little bit of movement. I'm just kind of moving the uh, the little bar down here. Uh, so when I run the calibration program, it should be able to bring everything up. But the trim switches, these right here, as you can see. Trim center. Trim center. Huh. Trim center. Yeah, little speakers going off. There's a the rudder. That's backwards. Yeah, the throttle I think is the only trim switch that's actually hooked up correctly. I got the uh, elevators. Okay, that's backwards. And the other one. 
Now it goes to the left just fine, but when I go to the right, so I'm gonna have to go and just ohm out and find out if I just need to reseat the connection that's up in here. Um, actually, oh yeah, it's one of these up here, one of these two. So yeah, it's coming pretty close. Other than that, yeah, all the functions work. You go up to a uh, page, you can go ahead and select all the models, you go through all the mode settings. Okay, so you hit exit, going through here, uh, go into the mode selection switches. There's all your files, tools, little functions, yeah, trainer switch, so you can uh, select all your trainer functions. And then the calibration, sticks calibration, okay. Well, firmware, 235, 2020, 117, as I said, I went through and updated everything. OPN TX690, so, all right. And of course, go through calibration right there I think basically it's just going through and there's your yeah center to start and this way I can also check to find out which functions are actually working uh, let me see these switches right here yeah they're not exactly gonna work but even like these right here um, I think Yeah, they're definitely going to need to get hooked up completely. I think there's something still off. This one right here is the arming switch I still need to attach up to. But yeah, that. I um, also still want to take and connect up this. At least um, I have a good idea that there's a few things that are still missing. So, so other than that, yeah, we're just moving around pretty, pretty smoothly. Uh, just few other things to go ahead and connect up you know a nice little USB access now so but I think once I connect up all the functions I can go ahead and just bolt this down and uh, keep it right where it's at so boop that'll be another one hooked up it's not completely there yet there's connections they're gonna go on the bus bar over here so all right well it's kind of there I'm gonna go ahead and extend the battery out and then uh, insert a tray that's underneath here so it can contain everything so but yeah other than that I'm going to hit exit uh, let me go ahead and exit out of this here real quick I think uh, there's another one actually showing all the switch functions here oh that's right yeah I gotta go through and with the uh, I just gotta go and just go through and verify everything so make sure at least I have all the switches where they're supposed to go. Alright, other than that, uh, the other thing too is make sure all these bus bars are actually working, all the ribbon cables. There's a lot to still go through, so other than that. There's the power off, boom. There we go. So uh We'll see how far, much further I get on the next video. So <laughs> this has definitely been a, an adventure, but it is starting to work. So, all right.